Hi, everybody. I'm Mr. Vallejo. Welcome to biology class. Today, I'll be telling you how to do the virtual lab on taxonomy. So let's go ahead and share the screen with you. In this week's lab, what you're going to be doing is uh, using a dichotomous key to classify organisms. And then you are going to create your own key. And after that, you will be uh, using your dichotomous key to classify plants that are very close to you. So let's go ahead and give you all the details that you need in order to do great on today's this week's virtual lab okay all right so taxonomy as you remember is the science of classification um, there are over 1.6 million different species of animals in the world um, it would take an awful long time to study each and every one so in classification we group things into uh, logical grouping so that we can um, it can be more effective in our study of all of these organisms. In this case, the 1.6 uh, million different animals. Now, if you were in the field, uh, you might use one of these. This is called a field guide. And uh, you could use a field guide to classify plants, classify animals. This is one of my favorite field guides. It's the uh, Pacific Coast. Uh, field guide by the National Audubon Society. I have this book and I have dropped it into the ocean at least three different times. So it is a well-worn book, but inside that book you have great color photographs of all kinds of different trees that you would find along the Pacific coast or, uh, or tide pool organisms. Um, and uh, you can you can compare what you see to the photographs and then figure out their names. But like I said, I've dropped this into the ocean a few times. It'd be easier if I had not even my phone because I don't want to go into the uh, ocean and then have my phone in my pocket. I did that in a lake in eastern Washington. Ah, new phone time. So what else could we do? Well, you could have a piece of paper, a one page or maybe just a couple page uh, piece of paper that uh, tells you what the organisms are. It's called the dichotomous key. And <clears throat> before we take a look at the dichotomous key, let me remind you, for those of you who are doing the herbarium specimen project, there's an app um, that you can get on your phone to help you classify um, all the different uh, trees that we have uh, here in the United States. It's written for the uh, Eastern United States, but since most of those plants have uh, come over over the last 100 years, 200 years uh, of settlers coming west, well, there's a lot of trees that uh, originally were on the East Coast that are now over here. So there's an app called Leaf Snap, um, which was uh, made by uh, a team in at Cornell University in, in upstate New York. And what they did was they used the, uh, the photo recognition uh, characteristics of, of your phones to, uh, to classify uh, plants. So this is a picture of a leaf. So someone took a, a snap of, of this leaf on a white background. Uh, photo recognition, you know, uh, compares that to the data in the in the app, and you get the genus name of this plant. This is a maple plant, a maple tree. So <clears throat> it'll tell you that. That's pretty cool. Now back to that piece of paper called the dichotomous key. The dichotomous key. Dichotomous means two choices. Um, there was a stark dichotomy between the north and the south in antebellum. Uh, uh, American history. So what that means is that there was a there was a division, there was a difference, there were two choices, two very distinct choices. Now when you use the dichotomous key, I liken it to uh, the yearbook because I remember back in the day we used to get a black and white yearbook like this and uh, it was at the end of the year and I remember during um, during eighth grade 
uh, I got I got my yearbook and yearbooks were great because I had this mad crush on this uh, this one girl name was Melody and uh, I couldn't talk to her no why so I uh, uh, in, at the end of eighth grade went up to her and said hey would you like to sign my yearbook and she uh, and she wrote dear Benny that's me you're a cool guy it was fun having you in Mrs. Black's algebra class, period. You're a great guy, period. Hags, ha ha ha, remember Hags? Have a great summer. And then what comes next is the telling point. Does she write your friend or does she write love? And I got L-U-V, woo, love, melody, P.S. The best part for me, KIT. You know what KIT means? Keep in touch. And so back in the day, before, before Snapchat, before Instagram, before phones, before pagers, before personal computers, we would get seven numbers. <clears throat> and I had Melody's seven numbers all summer. I didn't use it till August. <laughs> That's the way I roll. Uh, but, uh, my friend Brett, when he would sign the yearbook, he would sign it something like this. Dear Benny, you're a cool guy. It was fun having you in, in, uh, English class. Uh, Hags, your pal, comma, Brett. But he, his P.S. read like this. P.S. Turn to page 118. Brett, on page 118. There's a little thing by Brett says, hey, now turn to page 222. And so you go to 222, and it keeps telling you to go somewhere else uh, until finally you get turned to page 101. And on page 101, you turn there, and there's the picture. There's the photo that you wanted everyone to forget. I was president of the chess club in eighth grade da, 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 da. so the point is you keep going and you keep going and you keep going and it keeps telling you where to go until finally you get to the end and the end is the chess club or for dichotomous key the end is a name so here's the scenario now you are the biologist on a trip to the newly discovered planet called geometrica geometrica and we have already discovered these organisms. You see them. There they are. But you want to know what they're called. Okay? So that yellow one over there in the corner, what's that? I don't know. I don't know its name, but I've seen it before. Well, here's the thing. What we're going to do is we're going to use our dichotomous key to, to name these guys. And so we're going to take a look at the one in the bottom right corner. The one that looks like a stop sign, but it's blue. And we're going to use the dichotomous key. When you do use a dichotomous key, you always start with the, the first pair because one is true and one is not. So here's 1A, 1B, and for our, our organism right there, does this guy have any distinct corners? And it does. It has eight of them. So I'm going to go to item number two. So I'm going to go to pair two because I know that 1A is the correct choice. And then I'm gonna take a look at 2A, 2B. For this figure right here, does it have three sides or four more sides? I'm gonna go with four more. So that's 2B and 2B tells us to go to number four. So we skip number three altogether. And when I look at number three, uh, not, excuse me, number four, uh, when I take a look at it, uh, it says figures with only right angels. Oh, I need to correct that. Or a figure with other than right angles. And does it have other than right angles? It does. So 4B is the correct answer for this guy right here. And so 4B is called the Nagatko. Oh, I went to Geometrica and I saw Nagatko. All right, it's also low key. If you read that backwards, 
you might find something out. All right, so this is what you're going to do on your own today. Uh, this is my drawing. Uh, it says now you get to get now you get to make a dichotomous key for the United people. There's Melody. Do you see her? See her right there. Hi, Mel. Oh my goodness. But there are other people right there, and there are ten people, and we know their names. But let's say that that uh, you're walking around and you saw one of them and you wanted to know their name, you could actually take out your piece of paper and then key them out, which is the term for this. Key them out on the dichotomous key and figure out what their name is. Well, um, to, for, in order for this to work, as you make your own dichotomous key for these people, and by the way, this is my very best artwork. I was not most artistic uh, when I was uh, in senior superlatives as a senior in high school. I was most likely to succeed, and I was not uh, most artistic. My lab partner in my biology class actually was uh, most artistic and and uh, he became a commercial artist and I'm sure you're familiar with much of his work and the one I remember is uh, much of uh, the very first Pirates of Caribbean. At any rate, let's go on and take a look. What you gotta do is you gotta divide the whole group of 10 critters into two. And so, um, so, the, my, the easiest thing as you look back is, well, some are males, 